Hello, and welcome to another word of the day. If you're new to this channel and enjoy learning new words, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Without further ado, let's get into learning today's word. Today's word is verbatim. Verbatim. Verbatim is a adverb meaning in the exact words or in other words, word for word. For example, the coach was quoted verbatim in the article announcing she would retire at the end of the season. In a quote by uh, Lisa Wong Marcabeso of Vogue on January 13th, 2023 states, the case is drawn from astonishing real life events and much of the dialogue is lifted verbatim from court transcripts. Did you know? As every bona fide word nerd knows, English is uh, rich with Latin descendants. While most have undergone changes in spelling, some are the same. In other words, they are spelled verbatim. We won't list examples such as ad nauseum, but a few include convent, ego, vice versa, and of course, verbatim. The last word comes to us from the medieval Latin word verbatim with a a little A or a little line above the A, which also means word for word. As you may have noticed, there's a verb in verbatim, and that's no mere coincidence. Both verb and verbatim come from verbum, the Latin word for, well, word. The influence of verdum can be seen in other common English words, such as proverb, verbose, adverb, et cetera, and spellings and spelling of adverbs. Ver verbatim isn't just an adverb. It's also used as an adjective to mean being in or following the exact words, as in a verbatim report, and on rare occasions as a noun referring to an account, translation, or report that follows the original word for word. And as always, if you enjoy learning new words like verbatim, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. I'll see you all in the next one.